What do you understand by bug leakage and bug release? Bug is a problem. Bug, the testing is done, the bugs will come. So, bug leakage is, what is the difference? When the bug is discovered by the end user or the stakeholder or the customer that should have been caught in the earlier builds version of the application, a bug leakage occurs. That is, the bug you haven't found out, the customer has found out. You could have found out, but he has found out. So, a bug has leaked from, from your end to the user. The bug leaking is referring to a fault that exists during the testing but it was not being discovered by us or a tester or a software team and is subsequently discovered by the end user. What is bug release? When we release, uh, when a particular version of the software is released to the user with a collection of known bugs and defects, we know these are the bugs and defects in the software. It is referred to as the bug release. So bugs of this type are frequently of low severity or low priority. When the company can afford the existence of a bug in the release software rather than the time cost of repairing in that version, it is just released. So in most of the cases, these bugs are disclosed in the release node. It is properly given. Defect rejection ratio, defect leakage ratio. So defect leakage ratio is number of defects missed or leaked divided by the total number of software into 100. Defect rejection ratio is number of defects which are being rejected divided by the total number of defects raised into 100. Defect rejection ratio. 